Conservation in psychology refers to a child's understanding that certain properties of objects, like their quantity or volume, remain the same despite changes in their appearance. This concept is a key part of cognitive development and is most commonly associated with the work of psychologist Jean Piaget. Piaget studied how children's thinking evolves as they grow older, and he identified conservation as a milestone in their mental growth, particularly during the concrete operational stage, which typically occurs between ages 7 and 11. The origin of this concept comes from Piaget's experiments, where he demonstrated that younger children often fail to grasp conservation tasks, such as believing that a tall, narrow glass holds more liquid than a short, wide glass even when shown that the amounts are identical. Conservation is an essential concept in understanding how children's cognitive abilities change over time. It is part of Piaget's theory of cognitive development, which divides mental growth into stages. Conservation tasks help illustrate how children move from egocentric thinking, where they focus only on one aspect of a situation, to more logical thinking, where they can consider multiple aspects at once. For example, a child who understands conservation can recognise that even if a ball of clay is flattened, the amount of clay has not changed. This ability shows that the child can mentally reverse the transformation, an important skill in logical reasoning. Conservation is not limited to liquids. It also applies to numbers, length, mass and area. Researchers use these tasks to study how children think and to identify the developmental stages they go through. Now let's look at some examples. One common example of conservation involves liquid. A child might watch as water is poured from a short, wide glass into a tall, thin glass. If the child understands conservation, they will know that the amount of water remains the same, despite the change in the glass's shape. Another example is conservation of number. If two rows of coins are arranged equally, but then one row is spread out, Younger children might think the spread out row has more coins. Older children who understand conservation recognise that the number of coins has not changed. A third example involves conservation of mass. Imagine a ball of clay rolled into a long sausage shape. Children who understand conservation will know that the amount of clay remains constant, even though its shape has changed. These examples highlight how conservation tasks can reveal different stages of cognitive development. Now let's explore what comes next in a child's development after they master conservation. Once children understand conservation, they typically begin developing more advanced logical and reasoning skills. One key area of growth is classification, which involves organising objects into categories based on shared characteristics. For example, a child might group animals by whether they are mammals, birds or reptiles. This ability to sort and classify shows that the child can think about multiple properties at once. Another important skill is seriation, which is the ability to arrange objects in a specific order based on a characteristic, like size, weight or number. For instance, a child who can line up sticks from shortest to longest demonstrates seriation. This skill is important for understanding concepts like measurement and sequencing. Children also begin to develop a stronger understanding of transitivity, which involves recognising logical relationships between objects. For example, if a child knows that stick A is longer than stick B, and stick B is longer than stick C, they can conclude that stick A is longer than stick C. This ability shows that they can use reasoning to draw conclusions without needing to see the objects together. These next developmental skills build on the logical thinking introduced by conservation and prepare children for more abstract reasoning in adolescence, such as understanding algebra and scientific concepts. Each skill represents a step toward more sophisticated ways of understanding the world.